Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Potata. Now, I previously covered this on the Xbox One. This was a game that I wanted to check out when it first originally came out because it's a 2D platforming type of game and it has like a whimsical looking atmosphere to it. It's very, uh, I guess, a uh, curious childlike and a little, little adorable looking magical on the little side or anything but anyways patata is a puzzle platforming game uh it's an adventure about a little girl who has a magical journey um the world is full of like all sorts of like weird creatures and enemies and stuff um she's kind of a she's like a beginner rookie witch and she's still trying to get used to her powers and everything like that uh basically she has to save her village from basically dark forest spirits so um yeah again the game takes place like in a forest where it's inhabited by all these fantastic type of looking beasts and creatures uh everything just kind of has its own little uh little uh adorable charm to it and then there's a lot of secrets and a lot of different stuff in here you'll you'll see um characters that you run across that kind of have like a little sense of humor um now it does have traditional platforming mechanics um there's a lot of like puzzle solving here uh once in a while you'll come across like a little thing where you have to light up different tiles and stuff um so yeah it's a, in regards to how the game actually portrays itself it's pretty traditional in the sense of um any kind of other platformer out there uh you know the boss battles have like where they have certain patterns and things like that so it's it's not too out of the realm in fact as far as like the basic core video game design of the game they kind of played it a little safe which is okay i would say that this game overall has um a decent standard of a foundation on top of it it doesn't feel cheaply made at all it doesn't feel like it's some kind of flash game or something that is like a mobile game or anything like that it actually feels like this game had some effort put into it now one thing that really attracted me again was the way that the game looked um i like it when indie developers do not do that pixel style type of graphics you know a lot of times we see all this neo retro stuff where everything just has to be pixel art and they try to make it look like an nes game or a super nintendo game or, or whatnot something from the 8-bit or 16-bit era so it's refreshing when we see games that use a hand-drawn style or any kind of other looking type of animation and and that's one thing that definitely attracted me to this the, the other thing is that i'm a retro gaming platformer fan I, i've played a lot of platform games throughout my lifetime so when i see something brand new come out that might tickle my fancy i'm like all right so this one has everything in it you know you have the basic jump you have a sword that you can use to attack enemies you gather these blue gems and these green gems that are kind of like currency that allow you to past certain areas you'll come across like gates or puzzles that do not let you proceed any more forward unless you have a certain amount of gems to activate the switches or anything like that and along the way you'll see different types of puzzles like like you have to find like a carrot or some type of fruit to feed to a big giant animal stuff like that and then of course there's the generic stage hazards like spikes and pitfalls and things like that so it does have a nice little retro feel to it which is not a bad thing at all now as far as looking for something that might be a huge adventure uh patata is not going to be that you have to remember this is a real low budget game so if you're looking for something that's of, of the caliber of like a super mario brothers or or something like that you might be severely disappointed if you're going in with with high expectations on this now i personally played it on both the xbox one and the nintendo switch and i gotta say as far as performance goes uh, this doesn't really overclock the nintendo switch at all you're not going to be running into any huge frame rate problems or anything like that it's a 2d retro style platform so the xbox version runs just as great as the switch version when it comes to this and working in handheld mode this game is just great too it looks and plays just fine so this is not one of those games that just runs completely horrible on the nintendo switch it's a decent quality platforming game that you can actually sit down and enjoy for yourself and uh there is um I guess as far as the challenge goes, it can be quite difficult. Uh, it does, you know, don't let the game fool you with its childlike uh, presentation. Sure, it looks like it's something that's made directly for kids and something that might be a little appealing to the way kids uh, like their stuff to be looked at because it does have that cartoony vibe and stuff. But don't let this game fool you at all. 
Um, it's actually pretty difficult. <laughs> One of the first bosses actually had me just freaking... Uh, it's when you meet the fairy at the first time. Uh, I, I died probably at least 10 times avoiding the stuff that she shoots. And I was about ready to rage quit <laughs> and, and find a different game to play. But luckily, you know, trial and error, the more you play a game, the more you take your time, the more you look at patterns and stuff like that, you'll be able to complete it. So there is a high degree of challenge in there. So, I, I mean, right now in the eShop, the game is $12. That's not exactly demanding. You know, it's not a premium end indie title. You know, the ones that cost like $24.99 or above. And it's not on the lower level like those $5 and under games. It's somewhere right in the middle. And to me, that price point seems just about right. This is digital only, unfortunately. So if you're a physical collector type of guy, if you want to get a physical version of this game, unless one of those limited pr production type of companies makes a copy, you're not going to find a physical version of this. I don't think it's physical on Xbox as well. So it's a digital only game at this time. Um, for what it is, $12. I do think that's a fair point as far as a price goes for this game. So I would say if, if this looks like something right up your alley, it won't break the bank. Uh, if you're looking for a platformer game to sink into and the ones on the eShop that are from the arcades or the retro NES games or Super Nintendo games that you have available where your Switch Online service aren't cutting it for you, you want to try something new... You might not be disappointed in this. For me, uh, you know, it, it's 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 passable. Uh, I don't know if honestly if I didn't get a review copy, if I would check this game out or not. I, I mean, I liked it enough to where I played it both on the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. So I don't know. It's it's fair enough. Twelve dollars is enough of a well, you know small enough of a budget to to spend to you know. You're not going to go broke playing a game and regretting it. So I don't know. I, I it, it was okay. That's all I got to say. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to end the review. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to leave a like or a dislike. It'll help throw some engagement on this channel, help promote the videos across. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, comment down below. Let me know if this is something that you would pass on or whatnot. And if you want to see my Let's Play of it, um, go check it out. It's on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.